Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Rebuilds. I've had this truck for about, oh, three days, so time to avoid the warranty. <laughs> Follow along, we're gonna get that uh, turn signal stock put on so we can get the lane keeping assist and get that modified, put that on the truck. So I think what I need so far is just a handful of tools here, seven millimeter, a T8, and a little pry tool. You can get this all taken apart. So follow along. That looks like it's gonna work. That's the part number for it. Looks like we got two bolts right here. They're gonna be seven millimeters. Let me get those taken off. That doesn't take much. You gotta watch out for these clips up in the front so they hook in. And you got just these little clips that go around the outside. Try not to break any of those. Oh man, warranty police are after me already. All right, looks like we got a couple of small T8 bolts here. There's one up here and one down here. The only thing holding on this entire turn signal is just these really, really tiny bolts. Now I got the T8 bolts out from the top and the bottom here. Let me see, move that out of the way. Easier to do with two hands. But when you just grab this turn signal, just slowly pull it out. And there's really not a lot to it. So this is my original. This is my one from eBay. 2023 model, original AAW. Looks like it just goes back in the same way. Much easier to do with two hands. It just pushes right in. And then put those other T8 bolts back in here to hold that in place. That's all it is to replacing the turn signal. I'm gonna get the this cover all put back together and get this bottom one kind of hooked back in place. And with that now all snapped back together, just gotta put these two bolts back in at the bottom. It's installed, it still works like it used to. Right now, it does nothing. You got the four scan adapter for the OBD2 hooked up. It's done on the initial scan here with zero codes. Now we're going to work on getting the modules programmed. And before we make any changes to any of these modules, we're going to select that module we want to make changes to and save a backup copy of it. I'm going off of this kind of tutorial here from the Maverick Truck Club website. So it looks like the first step we have to do is activate through the IPMA. Select module configuration for IPMA and hit the play icon. It's gonna give us a nice warning to do a backup, which I already did. Gotta figure out which one I got to edit now. Well, now we have this driver assist area we didn't have before. Go to the menu settings for that. Set this to high. It looks like we have the lane keeping assist button working like it's supposed to. So now I'm gonna mess with it a little bit further. I'm mostly going to use the Maverick Truck Club website here to try to enable the traffic sign recognition. So the first thing we have to do here is go to the IPMA, which we changed in the last one. We're going to change that to um, 706.0101 to D2. So before we change anything here, I'm going to save our current configuration on the vehicle settings on the menu options. I'm going to go to driver assistance. Now I have lane keeping and traffic sign. Go to traffic sign, activate traffic sign. There's a warning. Let's set this to warning at five miles per hour for speed limits above 35 miles per hour at five miles per hour. These are the settings for my IPMA and these are the settings for my IPC module. And this is the setting for my body control module. The only thing that changed was the 726.15.04 goes 0.248. We got two speed limit signs here. Which one is this going to pick up? Fifty-five. We're going slightly more than fifty-five. Here it'll start flashing at me. So we can nudge the line. See what it does. Whoa. Orange corrects me. Okay, let's see the 55 mile an hour speed limit sign for a minute. So it's going to start changing the background from white to black, invert the colors. There we go. There's another speed limit sign coming up here. It's going to change that speed limit sign on the dash from black to white since it's found a new speed limit sign. 
There it is. Now it's white again. We're down to 50 miles an hour. Changes it 50. 45 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour. Speed limit sign coming up over here. Is it going to catch it first? Nope. Turns to black and white. Here's the sign. And it's back. Let's see if I can cut across this line and break it out again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. So as the tires hit that line, it buzzed at me. Shook the steering wheel. So the traffic sign recognition is working. Lane keep is working. More importantly, no diagnostic trouble codes. Everything worked great. You need to follow instructions from the guy on YouTube. That's what I do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm going to have more videos on this Maverick and all the modifications I'm going to be putting onto it. Links to everything I used is going to be in the description below. If you can, I would greatly appreciate you guys hitting a like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing, hit the notification bell for any future videos. I will see you on my next video, probably on this Maverick. Bye.